The pioneers' lot was hard. Music played a great deal in lifting their spirits and helping them to look to a better future. Many pioneers, especially those who had recently come from England, were refined and cultured people. They didn't have the frontiersman toughness, skills, or experiences to deal with the problems of life on the trail. It was a necessity for them to learn and to learn fast. Driving ox teams and herding cattle were just some of the challenges that had to be dealt with. The cattle would often stray off and they had to be chased down and brought back in line with the company. In doing this, they would guide the animals with shouts of whoa, ha, buck, and jerry boy. At night when they camped, they needed to put the cares of the day behind them. And as I've said, it was music that lifted their spirits. Typically, someone who played a small and not too heavy musical instrument would have packed it away on their handcart or in one of the wagons. The fiddle was one of those instruments. It made its way across the plains several times. Other instruments that might have been made that might have made it on the trip were flutes, clarinets, guitars, banjos, or possibly an accordion. It probably wasn't long before one of the fiddle players, as he or she was playing, began singing the words that they had been hearing throughout the day. Whoa, ha, buck, and jerry boy. And after adding some lyrics with that, the result was with a merry little jig and a gay little song. Whoa, how buck and jerry boy. We trudge our way the whole day long. Whoa, ha, buck and jerry boy. You will now hear one of the staple pioneer songs. Whoa, ha, buck and jerry boy. <laughs> ¶¶ 